Weird things have been happening to me lately. When I was a little kid, I never watched any of the same shows that my friends watched. They were always into The Simpsons and Justice League. As for me, I was 7, and I was still watching the same shows that I watched when I was 4. I used to watch shows such as Sesame Street and Clifford the Big Red Dog. However, my favorite show at the time was Arthur. This was a very good show based on a book series by Mark Brown. The main character was an aardvark with ears on the top of his head instead of the side, and had peculiarly round glasses. Nowadays, I'm 17, and I have been watching more grown-up shows such as The Simpsons, The Justice League, Family Guy, and Batman the Animated Series. I have also gotten into video games. I actually like video games more than I like TV shows, but that's not the point. What is the point is what happened to me just recently. It was a day just like any other day. I was sitting down, having breakfast, and watching The Simpsons as usual. My favorite episode was on, Season 21, Episode 20, To Survey With Love. Everything was going as normal until the end of the episode, this was when the twist came. The episode is supposed to end with Homer and Flanders teaming up and taking out security cameras laid out across Springfield. This did indeed happen. However, it is then supposed to cut to a scene where it is revealed that Springfield is being recorded for a British reality show. This time, instead of doing that, the screen just froze on the television, where the Queen of England is supposed to be watching, and it was silent. It was like this for several minutes, until all of a sudden, an image flashed onto the screen for a split second. The episode then finished normally. After what happened, I used my TiVo remote to go back and see what the image was. The image was admittedly hard to make out. However, it seemed to resemble Arthur. Also however, his eyes were glowing red, and his mouth was wide open. It seemed as if he wanted to tell me something. I was very scared by this and decided to switch my TV to game console, and play my new game, Injustice, Gods Among Us. The next day, I was scared to watch my TV again, but I wanted to anyway, because one of my favorite Family Guy episodes was on. It was their parody of Star Wars Episode 6, Return of the Jedi. It started off normally, however, towards the end, when Peter was about to say that he hates Robot Chicken, the screen just went totally black and silent. A moment later, the same picture of Arthur appeared, with bright red eyes, and a moving jaw this time. This time, he actually talked. You have abandoned us. You will suffer in due time. The image then faded, and the credits of the Family Die episode played. One thing that I noticed was his voice. It was not the same voice I only vaguely remember from the show, it was noticeably more demonic. I was very afraid by this point, and decided to go upstairs to my room to play Skyrim. The day after, I was afraid to even walk up to my television after what I had just witnessed. However, I knew that I had to. My father always told me, if you have a problem, you need to walk up to it, and face it like a man. So that's just what I did. I started watching The Simpsons that morning. This time, some of the episodes were completely normal. Nothing bad happened during some of the episodes at all. I was generally relieved, thinking that I must have imagined the whole thing. I then decided to switch channels, but the moment I did that, the screen just paused, and was completely silent. I then tried switching channels, but to no avail. Then I tried adjusting the volume, switching to game console then back, even unplugging the television and plugging it back in, but nothing worked. Then after all of those tries, the screen went black, and the picture of Arthur once again faded in. This time, he had more to say in the same demonic voice. You are a fool. You thought you could abandon us for what you want now. The camera slowly zoomed out to show that he was not alone, but just about every character in the show was there with him. They all had the same glowing red eyes he had, and they were all speaking with him in their same demonic voices. How dare you abandon us? That was the cruelest thing that you had ever done. You should have stayed with us. You would have been happy. The characters then jumped outside of the screen, like if they were breaking the fourth wall. Until then, a news reporter steps outside of an abandoned house. An ordinary day turns into a nightmare for the teenager living in this house. He said. Living in this house alone is one thing however, what apparently happened to him today is quite another. His neighbors heard blood-curdling screams coming from this house, and called the police to investigate. However, all they found was a shattered television, a broken game console, and a torn-up couch. 
The neighbors claimed to have heard something that sounded like a knife stabbing through flesh, and a small few even claimed to have heard gunshots. However, none of this has been confirmed to be true, as there is nobody here. There are no bullet shells, knives, or even any blood for that matter. Wait, this just in, apparently there is one last piece of evidence that the officers missed in their original search, it is a pair of glasses. The only real distinguishing feature is that the glasses are unusually round. Other than that, they're just plain brown glasses, with one lens broken. All of the officers claim to remember seeing these glasses somewhere, but they can't seem to remember where. One claims that they were on a TV show once. However, he can't seem to remember what the show is called, the only thing that he can remember, is that the main character wore glasses like these. All we know now is that there is apparently a serial killer on the loose, or kidnapper, and a teenager who is later dead or missing.